Hi you guys, welcome back to Elena for Crafts. So it is kind of late and I am working on my project and um, so by the time um, I will upload this will be um, will be by the time that um, I have already sent it out already. So it'll be a while since um, I upload this video. But I wanted to go ahead and record my process of doing this. Um, I do know um, you enjoy seeing my process of when I'm creating something and stuff like that so I thought I'd come on and do that as I'm working on this so um, I did do a process video on a haul video of when I got it and then I did a process video of what I think I did I'm gonna make sure to see if I did because I know I did it, I did one on Periscope. So if you, um, if you do have an account on Periscope, you can go on there. Um, the same as I'm here, Elena for Crafts, and find my Periscope and watch my process as I'm doing that also. So in case if I don't have it, because I'm already like um, past probably step three already or somewhere around there. So I am creating a small cake box. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've been using. I've been using some of this Dollar Tree lace, which I use a lot. So every time I go to Dollar Tree, I always buy me a couple of these. And then I'm using some Daiso small flower. I actually did a haul and showed that I had bought these flowers. And along with this paper here that I did in my haul video that I picked up at Daiso. So um, anyways, I am, and I have some material here. Let me make sure that doesn't fall. Just some lace and different kinds of laces and, you know, just to see where I'm going to go with this. So let me show you my process for right now. And I'm loving how this is coming out. All I know, I got to make one of these uh, probably a little bit smaller for my collection because I actually got two cake boxes that I created for my um, my treasure shelf that I have and I have the first one I created and then I created the second one so this is actually my third one and I'm really loving the size so here we go as you can see it is not too big and not too small so I purchased these two at Michael's and um, what I do, I always stack them on top of each other and then I put it more on this side so I can add flowers and stuff like that. So I um, guessed it, my podged it, did a couple things to it before I added the paper and all that. And then this right here, the top one opens up, but it's not going to open because I sealed it so it wouldn't open the top. So this opens here. As you can see, I um, distressed the edges and um, added paper inside and all that. And that's the bottom. So of course I'll be doing more. And then this is the underneath here. And then you can see how I stacked it here, right here. And I'm loving this paper. Oh my gosh, I'm really loving this paper. So um, I'm actually using the whole stack of paper, which I'm really proud of myself because I'm making the whole collection 
uh, different things I'm creating so the theme can just go together. So as you can see, I use some of this. So all these trims were given to me in Happy Mail. So thank you, girl. You know who you are. And so I love this. This one right here, I think I got at um, Hobby Lobby. But this paper is from Hobby Lobby too. So that's what it looks like for right now. And I just added um, some of this lace on there. And then another thing that I did, um, I made some flowers and I used um, Glitterific. And you can tell I've been using this because look, I'm like right there. Right there. It's like a half a bottle already. It works great. So I created this flower, these ones. So I made a couple of them for embellishments. I did that one. This one. I have to fluff them up though. Because I had to flatten them for to add the glitter and the way I was holding it. And then I did this one. So I'm loving the glitter on these. That glitterific works great. And then I love this one. I added happy. Love that one. I made a couple. Of, I love the way this one came out. Compared to this one here. I mean you can see it. But some I doubled it. So I like add like two on them. Instead of just one. Because I like them like real fluffy. This one is like a little small. That's why it doesn't look like two. But I'm going to add another one underneath. But I really love how this came out. Which I will be practicing. I'm making more of these. Because um, I really enjoyed making these. That one. And then there's that one. So I met. Oh my God. I can't even talk you guys. It's late at night. So I'm just like all over the place. So um I created these and the glitter is already dry and it just looks great. I just love this glitter. Um, so, of course, I will be using it on some Christmas um, projects that I'm going to do. And um, so, as you can see, you can fluff it up a little bit. But I really love... I didn't glue them. I usually use my staple. My stapler to do these. They're really fast. You know. It's just pretty much trying to uh, get your... Um, how you hold it and how you do them. So I use this staple here. And then I use the pink ones. So... Um, the pink staplers I got at um, Daiso, the ones that are inside the stapler. So, um, I know Dollar Tree has them sometimes. So, as you can tell, these are the ones that I did. And these are done already. So, um, but anyways, those are done, So, which I'm glad. And this is what I will be working on. I also have another thing that I created, which I would probably, I'm going to do another video once I have all the stuff um, that I've been working on. And I will be coming back to show you that also. But this is what I'm working on right now. And um, let me grab a couple things. Oh. Let me show you this real quick. So I'm going to be adding um, this ribbon. I bought this ribbon at Hobby Lobby a while back. And I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to use it. And look how cute it's going to look. I think that's going to look really cute. So I'm going to leave the top on just so I don't go over. So let's go ahead and start that process. So I'm going to just add it like that. 
And so I'm just um, trying to get my projects done. Look at how pretty that looks. I love this ribbon. Um, when um, Hobby Lobby has their ribbons on sale, and when I go, I stock up on any ribbons that I see that I know I will like and some that I repeat buying because I enjoy using them on my project because I do love to alter things. Boxes, frames, um, any wood pieces that I can get my hands on, I love to alter them. I remember one time I altered a frame for my mother-in-law um, and it was for Mother's Day and oh my God, I used uh, kind of like a vintage napkins from Tuesday morning and I Mod Podged it and it came out adorable. I was just like, oh my God, I got to make one and I still haven't made one. <laughs> But I really would love to make one just to so I can hang a picture up or something like that. But yeah, I really, really love that. I even made one for my mom and she loved it. So, so let me go ahead and get started. I also use this on a pumpkin. I have two of them. Oh, and this is what it looks like before. So this is already gesseled down as you can tell this is normally the color right here and so it's already um gesseled down so i just got to either paint it or do whatever i want but the other one i added uh glitter this um i also added this one too and then i just sprinkled heidi swap um some of her gold glitter I also added and let me grab that real quick okay so here it is is the one that I did and I use Prima's paint that Michaels had for 70% off I don't know if they still have I'm sure if you go to Michaels you might see it they might still have some so I bought that and look at how beautiful that looks it's a rose kind of like a rose pink and then the top as you can see I sprinkled um Heidi Swap gold and some sequins and then I actually got a hairspray and just sprayed it just so it can all stick and it won't fall off the the glitter and it works perfectly so I really love how this came out so I have it just on my shelf and um, I just love how sparkly it is. So it went from this to this. I just really love it. So um, I'm going to be doing another one. And um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um add the ribbon on here and um so you can see my process of how i do this i do love i do different things if you have been with me for a while you will know that i do different projects I do different things. Um, I'm also a planner girl, so I do planning. Um, I do a lot of organizing, and um, I also um, love to create cards, tags, all kinds of stuff. Anything crafty that I want to get my hands on, I will do it. And if there's something different that I want to do, I will, my, if I see or I see a video and I'm like, well, I would like to create something like that. I will do my homework. I will see a couple videos of how it was made, 
different ideas and techniques. And then I'll go on Pinterest and look on there to see what other um, ideas I can find and tutorials and stuff like that. Then I will just um, start that project and use a little of everything and of course add my own touch to it. So um, I love to try different things and then I also love to challenge myself to see if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Um, please let me know if I'm not the only one. I don't know why I do that. You know, I'm a crafter. Of course, I'll be able to do it. But just sometimes, you know, if you're a crafter, you know that you are your worst critic. I am my worst critic. I don't know if I want to say worst or what, but... I am because I always, um, not that, um, I don't know, I don't compare my work to anybody. It's just that I see other people's work and I want it to come out as nice as theirs, but with my kind of style, you know, and when I try to do it and it's not coming out the way my vision's trying to, um, no, my vision is not coming out the way I want as I'm creating. And then I get frustrated and then a mistake happens and it's actually better how normally I was getting frustrated about. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I really like this. I don't know why I was like tripping. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say tripping, but you get what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I do that to myself. I try not to. And I will say, okay, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, um, habits are hard to break sometimes. <laughs> Then you wonder why I do devotion to remind myself it's okay. It's okay. We're all different, which I know that we're all different. And we all have our own techniques. And um, I guess what I'm doing now is just chit-chatting and just telling you a little bit about myself of things that I like that maybe you didn't know if you're new and, um, but if you've been following me for a while, you know, um, some of the things that I enjoy doing besides my haul videos, that is, <laughs> I do love to shop and, um, find the deals and all the new things that Michaels might come up with or Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree, you know. All that wonderful stuff, you know. So, um, this is coming out wonderful. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And um, I'll probably add one more thing, I think. And then I'll be right back. So, real quick, I just added this one in the bottom, right? And I was going to just add some pearls on this end, but I thought I'd go ahead and add this one as well. And it fits perfect. Look at that. If you can see that. And I wasn't expecting that because I wasn't even thinking about that. But you see how things just happen without you not even thinking I was just like, you know, putting the ribbon on and thought, well, uh, maybe I'll add bling or something like that. I'll figure that out when that time comes. And then right now, I just kind of layered it on there. And I was thinking, wow, this is really going to fit on there. So it works perfectly. So that's how it works with me. And one thing about me is that um, I enjoy, like, not, like, t 
taking too much time, but I do love to take my time and enjoy the process just so because um, when I do my projects, I really put my all into it just like any crafter does. So that's what I love to do. Just a little bit about myself, I guess, is what I'm sharing with you guys. Um, I've never done a, I think it's called a Q&A, if I'm pronouncing that right. So I guess this is my take on that. <laughs> I'm just adding it on there. So I didn't want to cover the flowers. So I'll see how that will work. I didn't think about that one. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think about it and I just do it because I'm like excited about it. Oh, it's not going to cover it that much as you can tell because the this ribbon is not like completely like like that long. You get what I'm saying. So And I love crafting at night only because it's nice and quiet and I can, um, like, all my creativity comes out at that time. I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> but as you can see, look at how beautiful that's coming out. I think it's coming out so beautiful. Look at that. So, um, and then... This part is going to open like that. And so, um, and then of course I'm going to fill it up with goodies and stuff like that. And yeah, so I am definitely will be doing a finish up video once I have everything together. But I just wanted to come on and show this process of how I do my cake boxes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you in, um, if you really enjoyed this video of me doing my process and just chatting with you and just sharing a little bit about myself, you know, for the ones that might not know me, uh, that haven't been with me too long. And so, yeah, and maybe next time I'll do another one like this. So thank you for coming on by and I hope you have a great day. Bye, you guys.